Hello, welcome to another one of our lectures in organic chemistry. Uh, we're talking about our imines, right? Imines and enamines. Uh, we spent some time talking about imines in terms of being able to form them and the hydrolysis of them. Now let's look at imines and how we can hydrolyze the imine back to a carbonyl. Right? And as we've done before with all these, is we'll start with uh, various types of imines. Let's do something like this. Right? And this is our enemy. Okay? And with our enemy here, we can do that same thing where we do hydrolysis. We use b 30 plus. Again, for these reactions to occur, we need a lot of water, a lot of water, right? So again, we use h 30 plus. h 30 plus is what? It's just water plus our acid, right? And we're going to hydrolyze this. Hydrolyze this enemy back to what? Back to our, in this case here, it's going to be a ketone, cyclopentanone, plus we'll get our amount of amine, right? What type of amine are we using back? Remember with the amines, we form these, are reacting with what? It's secondary amines, secondary, right? So we should have a secondary amine. And we'll look at the mechanism of this, and we, we, can, we can take care of that, right, in terms of that. Now, again, we have an acid in there. So if we look at the mechanism of this, What's going to be our first step here? What's going to happen first? Just like we saw before, we have acid, we're going to protonate something, right? We're going to protonate something. So we're going to protonate this. And again, in this case here, we're going to use our alkene, right? Our double bond, our pi bond. Our pi bond to get this protonated. And by protonating this pi bond, we're going to put the hydrogen here, which I didn't draw in and we generate a carbocation, right? Again, once we see that carbocation, we have to think about what can we do with that, right? We have two options with that carbocation, right? We have a couple options here. I can do resin structure with a lone pair of nitrogen, right? And draw a resin structure of that one, but it really doesn't get us in the right direction, right? But remember, we have to get an oxygen here, right? The water is gonna give us that, that source for that oxygen here. Then remember, we have a carbocation, and we have a nucleophile, right? Water is a very is a weak nucleophile, but once we have a carbocation, it's happy to attack it. And we get that positive charge in the oxygen. So what do you think we're gonna do now? What's gonna happen with this positive charge oxygen, right? Similar thing we saw before, we attack, and then we're gonna do what? We're gonna do a Proton transfer, right? Nitrogen is going to come from here. All right, so we're at this form now, too. We've done that proton transfer. Now, nitrogen has a positive charge on it, it doesn't want to positively charge. It's actually fairly stable now. If it leaves, so it's going to leave. And so by that leaving, we're going to generate that carbocation again, right? Now in this case here, we're not going to attack that carbocation, we're going to do our resin structure. We're doing our resins. So generate our carbonyl. Then what's going to be our last step? We're going to de de protonate that oxygen, use the water, We've got a lot of water in the solution. Again, by doing that, we can regenerate our acid catalyst that we used here, and we get our carbonyl. Okay? And that's how we can hydrolyze our imine, enamine, to our carbonyl, right? In this case here, we did it on a, uh, we formed a ketone. We also know ones that have aldehyde, depending on substitution of those groups there, right? Now remember, enamine, we see those formation of those ones when we have those secondary amines, right? We generated that secondary amine. Okay. Before that second intermediate here that got kicked off, I didn't really didn't draw it any longer. I was more interested in our carbonyl that we formed here. Okay. So now we've learned out how we can form imines and enamines, and we form how we can hydrolyze them. Right? 
And so now we have a way we can put these reactions on. Later on, in, in previous, in future lectures, we'll talk more about what can we do with these and reactions that we can do with these amines and amines, right? We'll talk more about that. But this is our mechanism for our amine hydrolysis. <laughs>